Good rising, beautiful people. Welcome back to Vibe Divine. I certainly hope that you are well. Today I wanted to talk about something that's kind of been on my mind lately, and maybe you can relate to this too, and that's the spiritual ego. You know, on this journey as we begin to do the work, we go within, we'll notice a lot of different things and, you know, behaviors based around spirituality, you know, but the truth is really that spirituality does not fit in this confined box of things that you have to check off in order to be spiritual. You know, you don't have to dress a certain way, although some people do, you know, they wear trinkets and if that's how they express themselves freely, then so be it, but you don't have to look like that to be spiritual. You don't have to use a certain lingo to be spiritual or join a certain group or be affiliated with you know a certain set of people you know people don't have to know your name it's not about how you are you know expressing yourself out you know what i mean even though you know once you do the work there are certain characteristics of the spirit that will begin to manifest themselves but this it has nothing to do with physical aesthetic or certain verbiage that you use. You know what I mean? It just, it's just, I think that sometimes this whole identity is adapted as to how spirituality is supposed to look like. You know what I mean? Like you're in all the yoga classes or, you know, you're going to all the groups or, you know what I mean? It's just a certain way that, you know, people might feel like they have to carry themselves and you really don't you know what i mean and sometimes we might compare ourselves like well i don't talk like that i don't look like that i'm pretty simple i don't dress like that you know what i mean um we're pretty low-key you know what i mean and how many times do i say you know what i mean but anyways it's like my go-to phrase but you know this doesn't mean spirituality Spirituality is the personal relationship that you have with it, with source creator. It is the merging to this oneness of the I am presence within you. And that is going to look like many different ways. Because guess what? You are an individual. God made you carved out on purpose it wasn't on accident an individual unique in your expression and how you express that it's going to look different than how someone else expresses that so i don't think that you know we should be comparing ourselves to how you know quote unquote spirituality is supposed to look. you know what i mean because i i think that it's be, it's become like like popular you know to be to be spiritual <laughs> it's a thing now and you know sometimes that can take on an ego within itself oh i'm spiritual you know and it's really more about having the fruits of the spirit you know what i mean and how you are in your heart and you know how pure your intentions are and that balance within you between dark and light and being conscious of it all and being able to come into fullness within yourself in the game, awakened, you know, wake into the matrix in the game as you are in full alignment with source. So I just, I just felt the need to talk about this a little bit. And I, of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it and what you think the spiritual ego means. You know, I think that we are still human we are human we don't wake up one day and go oh i'm spiritual so that means that i don't have any of the triggers that i used to have any of the reactions that i used to have it doesn't mean that i don't get mad it doesn't mean that i don't have a dark side you know what i mean all of these things are a part of the human experience in our expression and i think that we would totally be denying a part of ourselves if we are walking around with this air of oh i'm spiritual so you know all of that is beneath me when you know everybody can fall trap to 
their own individual selves, their own individual egos. And, you know, the ego is tricky and it can manifest itself in many different ways before spirituality and after spirituality. So I think that if we are just in tune with ourselves and just authentic with ourselves and say, hey, then I'm working on this thing every single day to be a better version of myself, consciously choosing a better choice for myself and all others involved and that's good enough you know what i mean more than good enough and we can't beat ourselves up along the way as long as we know you know what our intentions are and what we're striving towards and you know how we can be so that's all because i don't want to ramble on and on and on about it but leave your comments tell me what you think and i'd love to hear from you so i love you god loves you until next time my friends until you to always Take care of you. Yeah.